Look at that, we are back from paint. Um, got the top cap, the little grill filler pieces, mirror caps, the 0607 hood painted. Everything looks great. Uh, the match is really well. Uh, we really struggled with that. Um, my buddy had his paint supplier mix up, I think, four or five different batches of paint every time it was way too dark just didn't look right um i had a friend that has a paint supply company here in town he came over scanned the truck for me um we sprayed that sample uh held it up to the truck and it looked really good but that was with the truck sitting in here in the dark so uh he had came back we pulled it outside scanned it again came back the exact same formula. So that's what we went with and it looks damn good. So uh, yeah, if you need any paint supplies, uh, Paints Plus Stover, Missouri, they ship worldwide, I believe. Um, I believe the brand of paint is um, Automotive Art, I think is what it is. I'll have to double check on that, but uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I'm working on putting some stuff together right now. I set the grill back in it. Uh, these trucks are real bad about breaking these tabs on the end, so a good way to fix that is just drill some holes and zip tie it to where it's supposed to go. Uh, those clips just always break and then this flops around, so it's good and solid now. Uh, I gotta put the headlights in, the bow tie, um, and then we're gonna pull the bed back off so I can finish prepping it for bed liner. Started sanding it a little bit, but get it prepped for bed liner. I have the tailgate back now, so we'll get it thrown on there um, after we get the bed liner on it. This mount over here is rusted out. The little swivel, I've got a new one of those. Um, and then another problem I ran into, this is the first time the bed's been on since the raised bed floor was done. And the shocks hit the bottom of the bed floor. And as you can see the light gap on the other side over there, uh, this back part of the bed, it's got some wiggle room. Um, so I'm, once we get the bed off, I'm hoping I can get some friends to stop by, help me get that pulled off today. Um, now I'll cut the shock mounts off the back, uh, get them shortened up. If I have to run a shorter shock, I will, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah, for today, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the headlights back in it. And I think I need to get some double-sided tape for that uh, bow tie. The lower valance is in here. It's kind of dirty, it needs wiped down still. Uh, the door handles are in there, a tailgate handle, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it's very close to being done now. Uh, the ball is in my court. I got a lot of stuff to get done and probably a short period of time. But after I get that stuff buttoned up, uh, it'll be time to go back, get an alignment because of the front ends all out of whack because we had uh, readjusted everything to get it to where it would lay how it's supposed to so it sits on the tires now um got to get the alignment done after all of this and then um whenever i got the exhaust manifold bolts fixed uh, i had my buddy go ahead and look at the air conditioning while he had it uh, that's donnie girling at rockridge auto in jeff city uh, he's really good with LS stuff, usually anything on this or my Sierra. If I don't feel like doing it, Donnie's the guy because he always treats me right and he is good at what he does. Um, but he, I had him check the air conditioning. He said the condenser leaks, so I need to get a condenser ordered. And then Doug that did the paint work, he said that he has um, the machine to vac it and uh recharge it so he said once i get it ready for that to just bring it by and he'd get that taken care of so we are on the downhill slope uh gotta get the seats in floor liners all that stuff um 
yeah, I'm super excited. This thing looks like a truck again, and it looks damn good. He he really killed it on the paint match stuff. The color is perfect. Like, it's hard to tell in this light because it's dark and bright and spots in here, but uh, the hood looks great. Usually pushes the grill out a little bit when you close it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this thing looks like a truck again. Super excited.